It's been a significant rebound over the last several months in downtown Seattle. John Scholes of the Downtown Seattle Association says 2,000 households left downtown in 2020. The year that saw violent protests and the closure of many businesses. We still no doubt have significant challenges ahead of ourselves, but uh, no city's gotten better by people leaving and abandoning or not showing up. School says people are now clamoring to call downtown Seattle home. And we've had just significant investment in development of uh, new apartments, but also new condos uh, over uh, these last two years. More than 6,400 housing units are expected to open by the end of 2021. We see several thousand more units uh, coming online. Uh, soon we'll have more than 100,000 people that live downtown. So one of the largest residential populations of, of any downtown across the, the U.S. Over the past five years, 2020 included, downtown Seattle's population has grown by 38 percent. And as our downtown reopens, uh, people want to be close to restaurants and arts and culture and sports and entertainment and, and have that uh, city life and that city experience. Downtown Seattle is on its way back and, uh, you know, we still have a lot of work ahead, uh, getting office workers back. Many companies are slowly bringing employees back. The city's complete recovery is hinged on the economic future of downtown Seattle. And a healthy city requires a healthy downtown. We look for brighter days ahead, and I, I really do think the, the downtown's best days are really ahead of us. Steve Solis, King 5 News.